Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Parsha studio. In Parsha's Balak, we learn about Bilam, a non-Jewish prophet who was hired to curse the Jews. Part of this saga is the famous story of Bilam's talking donkey, which is why we are making a painting with shaving foam that features a donkey. Here are the supplies we will need. A canvas, the donkey template printed out, shaving foam, a scraping tool such as a piece of cardboard, black, blue, green, and silver permanent markers as well as a pen and pencil, blue, yellow, and green liquid watercolors, three pipettes, a thin stick, and a large tray. Let's begin. Fill the surface of a tray with a thick layer of shaving foam, then smooth it out with a piece of cardboard or any other scraping tool. In this week's Parsha, Balak, the king of Moab, hires Bilam, a sorcerer and prophet, to curse the Jewish people. On the road, Bilam's donkey sees an angel. This frightens the animal and it refuses to continue walking. This angers Bilam, so he hits the donkey. Miraculously, the donkey begins to speak. Next, squeeze several drops of green and yellow paint onto half of the shaving cream, then do the same with the blue paint on the second half. Hashem had sent this angel to stop Bilam from going on this journey, but Bilam did not listen. He continued on his way, However, the good news is that no matter how hard Bilam tried to curse the Yidin, it didn't work. The words came out as brachos instead. Even if some wish to hurt us, Hashem has miraculous ways of turning evil plans into blessings. Use a thin stick to swirl the blue paint in circles. Once you are done, wipe off the stick and use it to swirl the green and yellow paint using back and forth strokes. Here's a story to illustrate this idea. There was once a poor man named Yosef known as Yosef Moker Shabbos because he loved and honored Shabbos. One day, a stargazer told his wealthy non-Jewish neighbor that he would lose all of his money. It would go to Yosef. He devised a plan to make it impossible for this to happen. The rich man sold all of his property and used the money to buy a huge gem. He sewed it safely into a hat which he wore all the time. One day, as he crossed a river, a powerful gust of wind blew his hat into the water. A large fish came along and swallowed the giant stone. I'll keep you in suspense for a minute as we turn back to our painting. We will use the back of the canvas, so remove any stickers from the back and lay the canvas face up on the shaving cream. The pattern should land up on the back of the canvas. Aim to position the canvas so that some of it lays on the blue pattern and some of it on the green and yellow. Gently press the canvas down, then lift it out from the foam. Use your scraping tool to scrape all the foam off the surface of the canvas, moving it from the green side to the blue side, then allow it to dry. Once it is dry, place the donkey template on the now colored side of the canvas. Use a pen to trace the shape of the donkey. While the pen will not actually mark the canvas, it will create a colorless outline. Just make sure you press down hard. Use a black sharpie to trace over the donkey's outline, then fill it in with a silver marker. Back to our story. A few days later, on Arab Shabbos, a fisherman caught a huge fish. He was told that if anyone would buy it, it would be Yosef Mokr Shabbos. Sure enough, Yosef happily agreed to buy it. When he got home, he cut it open and could not believe his eyes. Inside the fish was a huge gem, the stone from the rich man's hat. Yosef now became a wealthy man despite his neighbor's evil plan. This story, like our Parsha, shows us that since Hashem runs the world, even if something seems to be heading in a terrible direction, Hashem can turn the outcome into pure goodness and bracha. Next, use a pencil, a slightly darker shade of silver, to color over the stomach, snout, and mane. Lastly, use green and blue sharpies to add details to the sky and grass. Although Bilham had planned to curse the Jewish people, Hashem had a different plan and changed Bilham's curses into brachos, to the point that we even repeat one of these brachos every single morning when we say the phrase Matovu Ohalacha Yaakov. There is a pasuk we say in davening every day that is also connected to this idea. Utsu Eitza Visufar Dabru Davar Velo Yakum Ki Imanu Kel, which loosely translated means that even if our enemies make an evil plan, it won't happen because Hashem is with us. Can you think of a time when something seemed to not be so good but turned out to be way better than you imagined? And it's a done deal. Enjoy this unique painting you've made and we'll see you next week. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It would really help us out. Bye.